It's okay. Everything's under control. Straw man's on fire. It's fine. We're fine. It's all good. Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today it's a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to continue our journey here on The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. In the last episode, our beautiful Jen had a beautiful wedding to the beautiful Randall, and it was amazing. And once again, I do apologize again for taking snapshots Snapchats, snapshots during the wedding. I just, I got all excited and I got lost in the moment. And I just had to document it for, you know, all the times I'll go back and look at it. But anyway, I digress. Mr. Jensen is now aging up into a teenager and look at him. <laughs> look at this emo looking mother. Oh, ooh, look at that look he just gave Kyle. Like, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But he's so, he's so handsome. Jensen. I have had such beautiful girls and such handsome boys. I just, you, Jen, you're the best. You, you go, girl. You pop them out and you make them all beautiful. You, that's amazing. Anyway, uh, Miss Maddie's father just passed away, Mr. Sullivan Gutierrez, which is sad. Um, but otherwise, that's where we are now. And Kyle, um, he's had a lot of coffee. I think he needs to go to bed bed but anyway in today's episode we will age up presumably all of the kids because i'm guessing kyle and jensen are next in line to be adults and then little miss uh lily she's got to be a teenager any day now as well and then maddie and then finally miss no who was our next mother to be so that's gonna be today's episode aging them all up oh and we'll have a party for kyle Isaac and Jensen should they all be I guess we'll have a party for everybody today that just sounds like a lot of parties and a lot of work I don't know about that <laughs> no we will we can't not have the parties for everybody so you'll see all the tidbits of parties and it will end with the lovely little miss no becoming the matriarch and what shenanigans we'll get into in this episode I will keep you posted you guys guess who I just got a call who died Randall! Randall just died! Oh. But we just married him! Oh no! Where is his tombstone? Kyle and I are gonna go find his tombstone. Well, this is not, this was, this should not, this was not the, I, this was not what I had planned in mind for this episode. That's so sad. Jen's finally retired from being, you know, basically a, a, a baby reverse vac. What's the word for like a reverse vacuum? I can't think of one right now. But you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so sad. I don't know where to find tombstones in this game. I might have to hit the Google real quick to figure out where we, where we go get the tombstones. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. So, from my Google research, it appears that you cannot find the tomb or an urn of a sim that did not die, like, in front of you or died on a different lot that is unplayed. So, unfortunately, it does not look like we are going to be able to give some of that relief away. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad for them. And they're both grilling. Really, guys? Like, you couldn't have just shared the same grill. You both had to go to two different... You know what? You're grieving. I'm sorry. I will let you do what you gotta do. Kyle, you have the day off from school. Why don't you call in? Why don't you... Uh... Call in sick, sick from school today. We also should have had poor Maddie call in sick. Her dad died, too. Um, that's a bummer. Jensen... Why aren't you at school? You have no excuse. You have no excuse, boy. All right, anyway, that's that. So, um, yeah, we're still waiting on everybody to age up and uh, for little Miss Noelle to be our baby mama. It's Kyle's birthday! Oh, Woohoo! Kleptomaniac. Goes great with his materialism. Wonderful! I just got this notification that says it's almost Genevieve's time. Make the most of these days. I absolutely do not like that. 
Not in the slightest. This is supposed to be a happy episode. All of our kids becoming adults and and Miss Noel changing into our matriarch. Not Genevieve going. Anyways, more birthdays to come. Hopefully no more deaths this episode. Oh no, 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 it's happening. No, no. Oh, and she was going to sell her plants one last time. No. No, can we, can we plead? Can we all come plead, please? No. No, everybody come, plead. Plead. Oh. Genevieve Whitley has lived a long life, but her time has finally come. She is dying of old age. No. No. Lady, what the heck? Well, that is so sad. I'm glad this random Yaritza lady. Who are you people? Why are you here for this? This is so sad. Oh. Engrave epitaph. Can't wait to see you. That's the default message that it came up with. Oh my god, I have to leave that. That breaks my heart. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so, so sad. Wow. Jen's gone. I can't believe it. She's been an amazing mother. We'll move the tombstone so it's not awkwardly by the house like this. But before we do, I want to show you something. So I rushed Kyle into painting. He's the oldest son. He has a job now as a scientist. And um, he was able to paint at the reference painting where you take a snapshot and then they quote unquote paint it. And I wanted to get one of Genevieve before she passed, which I actually did yesterday in the game. And at the same time, she just so happened to be waving goodbye to Cameron, one of her oldest sons who happened to be visiting. And look at this painting. Look at this. So she's always here with us and she's waving at it. Like when I saw in this like in the snapshot that she was waving, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing to have for these kids. And I'm so happy that we painted it. We will do one for every matriarch that we have from here on out. But I I'm going to miss Jen so, so gosh darn much. Um, how about we, he's got to go to work soon. Everybody's going to leave soon. Oh, Lily is now a teenager. Um, she's, they're all having a rough day. It was her birthday. Her mom passed away. She's off from school. So how about we um, strengthen connection to the physical world? Genevieve's connection to this world is slowly withering. Soon her spirit will be released and she'll no longer be able to wander about and haunt Sims. Lily can plead the benevolent otherworldly spirits to allow Genevieve to stick around for just a little while longer. Release spirit to the netherworld. We don't want to do that. We are going to talk to her every single day. Oh, so sad. Hey, I know you're sad, sweetie, but you gotta go to school. I mean, actually, you don't have to go to school, but you gotta go to school. Oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> All right. Well, we're still going to wait for everybody to age up. Hopefully, Ms. Jen will come visit us. Oh, can't wait to see you. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Well, we'll be back when it's Miss Noel's turn. It's Isaac's turn to be an adult. Oh, he is not happy right now understandable considering his mom just passed away <sighs> he now loves outdoors love you buddy oh look who we have coming in for a snack it's miss jen i knew she wouldn't okay knew she wouldn't be gone forever she that was a quick hide by all right well i know she'll always be around so that's nice oh boy now we've got Patchy on fire, of all things. It's okay. Everything's under control. The straw man's on fire. It's fine. We're fine. It's all good. Yep. Okay. 
All right. Okay, so I just saw that Isaac down here is upset because he lost a sibling. And I was like, no way. Did one of our, our kids die? No. Let me show you. Isaac's here. He had a half-sister, Olivia Kim, from his father, Eric Lewis. Okay, so I was going through, you know, the rest of the kids to see perhaps they had a sister that I didn't think of because, you know, they had a parent that we might have hijacked just to make a baby. And I clicked on Mr. Cameron here. His brother was Randall. That's right. Genevieve married her son's brother. Had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes sense because I remember Bruce. I guess I just never paid attention to the last name. We we made our way through that Saavedra family. You know what I'm saying? And now we have one. Kyle, he's cooking dinner right now. <laughs> All right. Well, thought that'd be a little fun fact for you guys. Oh my God, there's a fire. What happens when there's an unplayable character at the house and there's a fire? I don't... Oh no, I don't know I don't know what I don't know what to do. Do I Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um Yes, Kyle, you gotta come home and you gotta you gotta extinguish this. Oh no. Kyle, put the fire out. Put more of the fire out. Don't get too close to the fire. Just put it out. Oh no. Oh no. Keep going, buddy. Wow. This episode's just a bit of a bummer, huh? Oh. Kaylin, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I feel so bad. She didn't deserve that. <sighs> All right, well. <laughs> there we go. Jensen's an adult now. Woohoo! Yeah, you blow those candles out, buddy. There we go. Woohoo! All right, Jensen was a painter extraordinaire, lazy, an animal lover, and now what else will you be? A bookworm. Perfect. All right, guys, little Miss Noel is now a teenager. That means I have to go through the aging process of all the other kids before she is a young adult and she can be our matriarch. It's probably taken about five hours just to get to this point to get Kyle to an adult. Now we have to get him, Jensen, and Isaac to young adult. Oh, wait, we have to wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. These three will be a young adult. Lily and Maddie will be... And then Lily, Maddie, and Noel will be an adult. So got some more time left before we can make her our mother but I just wanted to show you her as a teenager and she is adorable I didn't even read that um sorry I don't know what bad lesson I just taught my child but anyway um so yeah we are going to get Ma Noelle learning the garden and we're gonna get her in tip-top shape to be an amazing mom and oh oh oh, oh but for her traits though because I, I did pick the random trait and if I'm being honest Oh my gosh, I forgot what her random trait was. What was it? Uh, uh oh. It's not important, but for her, for her goal or uh, whatever, I made her Sierra Romantic. Because that's going to be perfect for when she becomes our baby mama. So, just waiting for them to all age up. Um, you'll see when they do, and I'll be back. And Lily is now an adult. Yay! Woohoo! What will her random trait be? Music lover. Love it. Love you, Lil. Oh no, you guys. We just got the call that Brittany passed away. Oh. I wonder if I. Nope, not, not that. If I go to their house, if I will be able to see. Like, find her tombstone, you know what I mean? Alright, oh. I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so, so sad. Select a sim to play. Alright, we'll play Fallon. Look, they're all so old. I'm so sad. <sighs> Who knew this would be so hard? That is awfully cheerful music. Okay, good. Her, her urn is here. Oh. Oh, well... I don't want to say our very first baby girl, because she's technically not, but can I... 
We will. Should we bring her over and, br and, pu and put her with her mom? Or should we leave her here? We'll leave her here. Um, we'll, all the siblings who pass away, we will put at this house. But all of the mothers who pass away, we will put at the main house. So we will put Brittany right there. Okay. Oh. So sad. Okay, well, we're still waiting on Miss Maddie and Noel to age up. Um, and I guess I realized afterwards that due to the aging process, maybe not all of the older boys will be coming in a, a, uh, a young adult before the, the girls become an adult. Does that make sense? Because I was saying we're going to have to go through their all process of all of them. But I don't, maybe that's not the full timeline. Am I making sense? I don't know if I'm making sense. Also, in case you hadn't realized, I decided to keep all the kids at this house because it was just easier than building a new house right now. Obviously, when it's Noelle's turn to become mom, I will kick everybody out and we'll probably have to build an old house, which we'll see in this episode. This might be a really long episode, but that's where we are. And I'm very sad we lost Brittany. So, we'll see you guys in a bit. Um... Okay, so Noelle just tried to appease the gnome and ended up getting, you know, hit by lightning. But wait, all of our phones were just ringing, which that's not good news because that means that somebody else passed away. But I didn't pick up the phone to find out who. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who was it? Let's go to here. Was it Cameron? It was Dean. Oh, Dean, oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry, Dean. You know, I gotta say though, so far, all of our people have died of old age. And that's very, very good. We haven't any had, we haven't had any, well, I mean, we actually have had lots of unfortunate accidents. And we had this one, where our maid, but that was the freak accident, nobody was home. But none of our kids have died in a horrible, tragic way, so that's good. It's still really sad, but it's good. <gasps> Wait, Cameron just passed away too! No! Oh my god, what a day. And Miss Maddie is now an adult. Woohoo! Go girl! Let's see what your random trait will be. Art lover. Good, because your brother is painting up a storm. Johnson is becoming quite the artist. Cool. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Fallon has now passed away. Oh, It double rang, though, so... Is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Oh, good. Lily was down there. We don't need a repeat of that. All right. Cool. Anyway, um, where were we? So we've got Brittany, Dean, Fallon, and Cameron who are gone. Okay. Because it double rang and I was thinking maybe Elliot had passed away too. Where even is Elliot? Oh, she's right. No, that's Gabby. Haley, Maddie, Isaac, Kyle, no, Lily. Uh, oh. Oh, Elliot. Okay. I'm sorry, Elliot. <laughs> I did not recognize you for a second. Okay. <sighs> and now Elliot has passed away. This needs to stop happening. It needs to stop happening, but this is just gonna keep happening and happening and happening. <sighs> All right, you guys. Little Miss Noelle is finally an adult. It only took maybe... Dear Lord, I don't know, 12 real life hours to get here, but we're here. And the cool part is, is I've actually been a part of Noelle's whole entire life. So we've got, I've gotten to know her really well. You guys will get to know her really well. And we're finally here. Oh, another glutton. All right, that's fine. I guess it's pretty funny watching. Uh, I think it's Gabby that's a glutton. It's pretty hilarious. So... Speaking of Gabby, Gabby and Haley are the only two left from the from the older kids' house. They are all here. This is all the Whitley kids. Wait, right? Is anybody downstairs? Okay, a couple are cutting a rug or playing a game down here. But this is it. This is all that's left. Wow, I can't believe it. 
Are you guys excited to have a new mom? Look at her just chowing down. She's going to do great. She's going to do great. All right, you guys. Well, that wraps it up for this episode. Um, in the next episode, it's just going to be Noelle in the house, and we're not really going to waste any time. We're going to kick these guys out, and then we are going to get down to baby making business. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a comment or a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I've got a new video, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye.